Welcome back everyone. Now that we know how to create a new SwellKit project and what the folder structure looks like, it is time to dive into the different features that SwellKit offers. And we are going to start with routing. SwellKit has a file system based routing mechanism. What I mean by that is the URL paths that users can access in the browser are defined by files and folders in your code base. Let's dive into the code and understand this with an example. I have opened VS Code and as you can see, I have created a new SwellKit project called skrouting using the command npm create svelte at latest space skrouting. Once you run the command, you should have a project similar to mine. Navigate inside the project folder using cd space skrouting and run npm install to install all the dependencies. What I will do now is expand the source folder and delete the routes folder as I want to start from scratch and help you learn how to create routes in SwellKit. Now I already mentioned that SwellKit has a file-based routing mechanism. Does that mean every file in our app corresponds to a route? Well, no. If you remember from the intro video, I mentioned that SwellKit is a framework where we need to follow certain conventions. Routing is one such feature where we have to heavily follow the framework conventions. What are those conventions? Well, first, all routes must be placed inside the routes folder within the source folder. Second, every file that corresponds to a route must be named plus page.swelled. Third, every folder corresponds to a path segment in the browser URL. When you follow these conventions, the file is automatically available as a route. Let's now understand these conventions with a few different scenarios. For scenario one, let's add a route that needs to be rendered when a user visits our website. Our website is of course localhost port 5173. So if the user navigates to localhost port 5173, we want to display a message. Let's head back to VS Code and implement this scenario. Now the first important convention, which we already had a look at, is that by default, all routes must be placed within a folder called routes. And the routes folder should exist within the source folder. So within source, let me create a new folder called routes. The second important convention is that every file that corresponds to a route in the browser should be named plus page.swelled. Plus page is the name of the file and swelled is the file extension. So within routes folder, let me create plus page.swelled. Within this file, I'm going to add a very simple h1 tag as HTML. Welcome home. And believe it or not, we have created our very first route in SwellKit. We can now run the command npm run dev. You should see the text welcome home. So this is the first point to keep in mind about routing in SwellKit. The page.svelt file within the routes folder maps to the root of your domain. We have successfully implemented scenario one. Next, let's take a look at scenario two. For this scenario, we need two more routes. One route to render when the user visits the about page and another to render when the user visits the profile page. Let's head back to VS Code and define the two new routes. In the routes folder, I'm going to create another folder about in lowercase. Within the folder, I'm going to define a new plus page.svelte file. Within the file, I'm going to add an h1 tag that says about me. Similarly, let's create another folder in the routes folder called profile. Within this folder, I'm going to create 
a plus page dot svelte file and an h1 tag that says my profile. If we now save both the files and head back to the browser, we should still see our homepage at the domain root. Now though, if we navigate to localhost 5173 slash about, you can see that the text about me is rendered. If I change the URL to slash profile, my profile text is rendered. So scenario two has been implemented. The second point to keep in mind is that routes are associated with a file based on the containing folder name within the routes folder. Page.svelte within about folder maps to slash about and page.svelte within the profile folder maps to slash profile. Now what happens if you enter a URL that cannot map to a file in the routes folder? For example, slash dashboard. Well, SwellKit will automatically respond with a 404 not found response. You don't have to explicitly handle a non-matching route. Hopefully the term file-based routing is starting to make more sense to you now. There is no need to install a router and configure it with code. How you create your files and folders determines the routes. This is SwellKit's approach of convention over configuration for routing. Of course, we still have a lot more to learn about routing. So thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.